All right, what's going on, guys? Drop shot here, and I am back with another NHL 19 video. And this time, I am going to be talking about um, what I have officially gathered up from the NHL 19 reveal trailer. So this is me reacting to it, kind of breaking it down, what I think's gonna happen, what is happening, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, let's look at the trailer. I'm just going to play it all through, and then we're gonna. Um, Look at the rest and see how that goes. So, uh, yeah. For a lot of us, this is where it all began. Hockey was a way of life. Okay, so, um, that's that. Um, so yeah. Wow, um, I think this is gonna be a disappointing year for a lot of people. I'm not gonna lie, I think this is gonna be disappointing for a lot of people, considering a lot of things, but there are also things that I think EA hasn't really necessarily told anyone about. Um, one thing, the major thing that I noticed. There is no frostbite. These are the exact same graphics. This, right here, this is NHL, this is NHL 16 graphics right here. This is NHL... 16, 17, 18, now 19, obviously. Um, same thing, Subban looks exactly the same. Now, the reason for this is that if they're switching to a new game engine, they're going to have to change so much up. If they're going to add in a game engine, they're not going to add in a new game mode or anything. They're going to be working on, they're going to need to restart from scratch the skating physics, the uh, the stick handling physics, puck physics, all the, all the physics. They're going to need to... Uh, dump the old stuff in the trash they can't just have the same game and just have just change the graphics they can't just do that they have to have they're on i believe they're on ignite so they would have to take ignite and then they can't just transfer ignite and just add in new graphics they can't just do that they can't just add in new graphics like that they have to go in and redo everything redo all the every single physic every single aspect of the game when it comes to the actual gameplay part. That's why they didn't add in um, Frostbite this year. They still feel like there were some there were some gaps, but yet some of those gaps still aren't filled. And I'll get into that later on. But obviously, as we can see, this is all just this new game mode, which is, I believe, online only. And it's 1v1v1. EASHL, sort of. Um, so basically, this is all 1v1. So... It's, you have your own character, obviously. I believe they are bring back attributes. So, that's, that's cool, I guess. I think they're going to be bringing that back. Um, but this is 1v1v1, and then a goalie. So, this is a separate player. This is a separate player. This is a separate player. They're all on different teams. So, 1v1v1, pretty straightforward. Now, this is obviously your own created guy. And then, obviously, I like how they added this too. The goalies now get... I saw a lot of more customization in here. So, I'll just go over the customization real quick. The the helmet right here, you can obviously see he has the little beanie going on. And I believe that you can customize your own goalie helmet. I'm not sure, but it, it kind of looks like that's where they're getting at here with this trailer. Also, those skates look super unrealistic there's a lot of skates in this trailer that i think look super unrealistic and it's all customization right here now i know in the you could change the blade holder color you can do that but i've never seen a green skate in my life a green like camouflaged skate almost so that's obviously different and i think this is the same character right here just a different shot 
Um, this hasn't been a goalie helmet I don't think we've seen before. So I think we, you are now able to customize your own goalie helmet. So that's what I got from that. The gameplay, honestly, the passing and everything looks the same. Uh, the only thing that looks like that they changed was the skating. And I think you don't notice much. I mean, crossovers and all that. Yeah, yeah. All that looks the same. Same deking. Um, skates right here. These are different skates. These are new skates. This is a new stick, it looks like. Um, it's just all new equipment. And then they also expanded on their website. If I'm not sure if you guys looked at the website. That they have a bunch of new... Um, clothing that you can add. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with NBA 2K, but this is, if you guys are familiar with it, this is basically Park, NBA Park, but with NHL. So it's all pond hockey, and it's all your single character. You get to mess with your attributes and everything. Um, you can change your clothing, obviously, like I said, right here with the skates. They have some sort of skate design where you can add, or add like, paint splatters all over your skates kind of weird i thought um the ma they mess with the skating a little bit you can kind of tell not really they might they might have now we thought about this in the last trailer now the penguins just scored a goal obviously now people were really um people didn't like how awkward the celebrations were and how only two people were basically included in the celebration after you scored a goal but with this this shows that, I don't know if this is either a milestone, because I know when you get a milestone in NHL 18, you'll all of your teammates will group together around you. I don't know if it's a milestone goal or a standard goal, but if it's a standard goal, this is new because the whole team's actually all huddled in, giving each other high fives and whatnot. Um, this, is, this shows a little bit of new skating. Um, they did change up the collision physics as well on their website. So, I mean, they changed it, but how much did they really change it? Is it for the better? Is it for the worse? We don't know. Um, that looks a little bit different. And right here, right here, I don't know if these are default. This is, that's kind of a weird transition right there. Um, but I don't know if this is a default helmet that you have a choice between different helmets and whatnot. Um, but we've never seen this helmet before. And obviously the jerseys and crap. There's no NHL team with the skeleton on their jersey. Um, so yeah, you can add in. Like I said, now the thing that I was also curious about is that they're adding things called hockey bags. And what hockey bags are, they... Um, this all looks the same. Graphics look all the same. And they added in the Legends. They added in Legends players. So, um, I don't know if they're adding in Legends teams necessarily. They're adding in Gretzky, of course. Uh, I thought this was a really vague trailer. Um, we were still clueless. We don't know if the Legends are all on their own team. If they all have, say, an all-time Red Wings team, an all-time Oilers team, an all-time... Blues team, we we really don't know how this is all set up, but we do know that they added in a shit ton of legends. They added in a bunch of new legends. Um, don't know about GM connected. A lot of people wanted it. I wanted it. We don't know if we're gonna have it. But considering they messed with a lot of the gameplay and didn't change the graphics, there should be no reason why they shouldn't have GM connected. They really shouldn't. I could understand if they at least changed up the graphics and added a story mode. But there's there's no reason they should have they should not have a GM connected. There's no reason they should not be able to do that. Um, and obviously they just focused on what what they call NHL ones now. That's the only thing that looks like their main focus. 
and it'll be really disappointing to not see GM connected. Also, here are some other funky looking skates. I didn't pause the video with that. Like, checkered skates, those obviously don't exist. I think that's a freaking galaxy on someone's skate or something. Something something crazy. Um, this is just madness right here. You got, like, skulls and whatnot, and these peach skates. These are all different. And then you got a purple stick. This this is a flashy, looks like a chick almost. I'm not sure if that's a, a female, but, um, yeah, this is, this is real flashy. Now, this looks like on 2K how they have park. This looks like, so you would go off to the side, and you could watch your friends play a game while you're waiting for another game to happen when there's an opening slot. So you would go, you would watch the game on the sidelines, say right here or, or wherever. You would go and just watch their game until their session ends, and the winner would usually stay on the ice. The loser will get off the ice. Now that's how it is on NBA. I'm not sure if that's how it is going to be on here. Um, but yeah, that, that's that. There again with the skates. You can change the skates. Um, a lot of skate differential, uh, here. And they change the physics, like I mentioned. But yeah, that looks like everything. Um, and then we, of course, we got Subban, who's a cover boy this year. So, let me know what you guys think about this game, whether you're going to pre-order it or not. I could see a lot of people not getting this game for reasons such as no story mode, no frostbite, and, in my opinion, most importantly, no GM Connected. But that's not official yet. That is not official. They have not said they don't have GM Connected. They haven't said that they are including it or are not. So we'll see. Um... Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave a like on the video. Comment below your thoughts. Like I said, this has been Sir Dropshot, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.